Kalyan Chaube is now the new president of AIFF. He's uh, defeated by Chung Bhutia in the contest by a margin of 33-1. So that's the big breaking news coming in with regards to the president post of AIFF and uh, Kalyan Chaube has now been declared the president of AIFF. Now this of course comes after the Supreme Court's intervention and the, remember the kind of uh, arguments that went underway uh, in the top court and Baichung Bhutia certainly was eyeing the top spot but news coming in of how Kalyan Chobe has now been declared the new president of AIFF beating Baichung Bhutia by a margin of 33-1. Listen into what Baichung Bhutia had to say. So well, congratulations to Kalyan. I think uh, I hope under him we'll be able to you know take football forward and uh, uh, thanks to all football fans across India for the last couple of days showing so much of support and encouragement. So hopefully I've, I've been working with football before uh, the elections. After that as well, I'll be working. Thank you. So yes, the president was chosen uh, via counting of votes. Let me go across to Karishma joining us with more details. We heard uh, Baichung Bhutia there congratulate uh, Kalyan Chobe. Karishma, what more can you tell us about the election process and what went underway? Well, yes, absolutely. Kalyan Chobe is going to be the new AIFF. Uh, president. He is a former India footballer in the 85-year-old history of the Indian Football Federation. We are going to have a sports person at the top post at the helm. But interestingly, uh, Baichun Bhutia lost by a margin of 33 to 1 when he was seconded and nominated by two federations. So it's uh, understandable that even the two federations uh, uh, nominated him out of that one uh, did not vote for Baichun Bhutia and he just left a minute before uh, from the AIFF House here in uh, New Delhi after being after it was announced that Kalyan all right so Kalyan Chaube is the new AIFF president remains to be seen what happens next